Turtles and tortoises, are they the same thing? Some time ago, we created this piece of infographic and it exploded! So today, we will be visiting the Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum to figure out the differences between a turtle, a tortoise and a terrapin. It's gonna be a totally awesome time! Hello, Connie! I'm excited to be here! I'm Jess, shall we? Okay! Welcome to the Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum. I'm Connie and these are all my pets. They are my pets, so most likely they will listen to me. Stripey, see the camera there? See the camera there? Bite! Go bite! The moment you step into the museum, you see all sorts of tortoises roaming around. You have the yellow-footed tortoise, the Burmese star tortoise. So many of them, they're all so friendly! Right? Hello! Hello! Believe it or not, all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Turtles are reptiles that belong to this group known as the Testudines, and every animal within this group, be it the Burmese star tortoise, the red eared slider, or even the pig nose turtle, they are all part of this family. However, they are informally categorized into different smaller groups, and one of which being the tortoise. So, a tortoise, most of them have a heavy dome shaped shell and short, chunky feet. Uh, on the other hand, the turtles, they usually have a flat, streamlined shell with flippers instead of feet and we will talk more about these differences later on. I'm the turtle mo tortoise master. Everyone is coming towards me. Hello, my little minions. Hello. You want to help? Yes, uh. let's clean some tanks. Yes, 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 you're excited. So this is a very cute little pig nose turtle. No prizes for guessing where it got its name from. So remember how I said turtles have flippers? So this is an adaptation for them to swim more efficiently because they live most of their life in water. This pig nose turtle is a freshwater species that lives in freshwater and they have flippers just like the sea turtles that live in the ocean. But because sea turtles, they swim for much longer distances, their flippers are more adapted as compared to freshwater turtles. But you're so cute! Hello! Why you keep following me? I need to clean, I need to clean! I need to do my job! While the turtles are flippity floppity around in the tanks, these tortoises are overtaking the land here. And that's because they cannot swim. They are land-dwelling creatures. This is where the museum leaves some of their turtles out in the sun to bask in the golden glory. Turtles, they are reptiles, so they are cold-blooded creatures. Hence, they would like to soak up the sun's heat to increase their body temperature to stay active in the day. As you can see, some of the other turtles here, they actually have deformed shells and that's because when they were with their previous owners, they didn't like have enough sunlight and hence their shell didn't grow properly. And it's quite a sad sight to see. These are the most powerful kip kip turtles that can potentially keep your fingers off if you're not careful. Their bites are so powerful, right? It can break a one-inch broomstick, okay? And the power of their bite, right, actually wins that of like sharks and hyenas. The last major difference between the turtle and tortoise is their diet. Nom 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 nom. Tortoises are generally vegetarian and they eat a wide variety of plant-based food. Unlike the tortoises, turtles generally eat everything! Like, not everything, everything, but they eat both meat and plants. Especially for juvenile turtles, they are strictly carnivorous because they require a lot of protein for growth and development. Look at it, chomp down on the fish! Arr! Hey, so what about all this? They don't quite have flippers, but they are living in water. Ah! These are... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles da, 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 da. These are red-eared sliders or more commonly known as terrapins So some of us refer to them as turtles that live half on land and half in the water Although like I mentioned previously, all of them are technically turtles Most terrapins are found in fresh water or brackish water and they are like the middle ground between a turtle and a tortoise So they often have characteristics from both groups such as a partially webbed feet and a slightly overly shell with a keel in the centre. Can you name all the ninja turtles? There's Michelangelo. I know that one. There's Leonardo. There's another Lo. And then the last one, I don't know. Last, is it Anthony? I, let's see what we've learned today. Turtles, tortoises and terrapins are all part of this group known as the Testudines. Tortoises is an informal name to describe a group of vegan turtles that live mainly on land and cannot swim. 
but for aquatic turtles, they describe a group of turtles that live mainly in the ocean and can swim really well. A terapy is like a rough combination of both, but they are all essentially just turtles lah. Thank you Kony for guiding us thank today you. and thank you Live Turtle and Tortoise Museum for letting us explore the science behind the turtle, the tortoise and the terrapin. So if you guys would like to visit the museum, they are located at Otto but they will be moving out sometime soon in 2021 so better make your way here quick. And I think it's a great way to bring the little kids out here and let them you know, have a touch with the turtles and feed them and get them in touch with wildlife and nature. So that's all for today, just keep thinking!